Hello, yes, not so secret state anymore. That's right. Do you remember a while ago, a few months ago, uh, there was a altercation, a fight in the Strasbourg Parliament between Stephen Wolf, UKIP MEP, and Mike Hookham, UKIP MEP. And I said it was all contrived, it was all set up uh, between Mike Hookham, Stephen Wolf, and their controllers, whoever they are. Right, I'm not going to argue with you. I don't know. The security services or one or two of its criminal proxies hope not hating it closed in a Gable Sailor magazine. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I said it was all contrived. It was all set up to demonise UKIP, make UKIP look violent, a party of dangerous people with dangerous ideas. And I've been proven right once again. There's a link I've left below. It's uh, from Mike Hookham's Facebook page where he's attacking Nigel Farage in the most vicious of ways since Nigel Farage announced uh, that he was leaving UKIP, right? And rightly so, Mr Farage. It's been taken over by the enemy. But sadly, this could have all been averted, like with Nick Griffin. But Nick Griffin didn't care because he'd achieved what he set out to do and that was get elected to the European Parliament for his pension. He didn't care after that. But I believe you do care, Mr Farage. Whatever political venture you're going to embark upon after UKIP, you must take these videos serious. They will infiltrate it straight away, like they obviously have with um, UKIP from day one. Your Stephen Wolves, your Hookums, your Jared Bands, they have infiltrated it, been sent in by their controllers from day one, and they've sat there being your best buddy as well, Mr Farage, for over 20 years, some of them. That shows you the effort that's put into this, doesn't it? Hey, And it shows you the treachery of these bastards. You think you're your friends and they're not. So take heed, Mr Farage, because they haven't gone away. They'll be trying to stop or bring down whatever you form. But once again, Joe Owens has been proven right. Right? Once again, I've been proven right. The handbags at dawn in the Strasbourg Parliament, Mike, who comes Stephen Wolf was an obvious contrived setup. It, it was a load of nonsense. You've got Stephen Wolf lying on, on the floor in some position that you, you see on these uh, old programs of the 70s, Ironside, you remember? Or something like that. And it was so obvious. One minute he's on death's door and the next minute there's nothing wrong with him. And it was all set up and contrived, Mr Farage. And you've got to now start taking this threat seriously, right? There'll be others as well that'll be queuing up to attack you. There'll also be others that are spies that I've got my eye on that will be leaving UKIP to follow you, right? Now, I'm not for one minute suggesting you should get paranoid with everyone. You judge these people by their actions, but you want to be careful. No more 15 strong NECs and things like that, because that's what ruined the National Front. It had a 20 strong National Directorate. And all the enemy had to do was get one third on there to influence another third. And the same with the NEC, right? But I knew the NEC was going to reject your proposal. But no, uh, the secret state is no longer no more, right? It, it's now revealing its hand. It's not a secret state. It's doing this blatantly, isn't it? With the Tommy Robinson Roadshow and uh, Jared Ban. It's so bleeding obvious now. And all my time, effort... Perseverance, patience, it's beginning to pay off. You can see now. Let's just hope we all can learn from this. You know, the secret state is not secret anymore. It's blatantly obvious what it's doing. And Mike Hookham attacking you, Mr. Farage. It really speaks volumes. It proves once again that I was right, that that fight in Strasbourg was all set up and choreographed by whoever, by their controllers, whoever, whatever. And I've been proven right. And I can understand people not believing at first because it's a lot to swallow, isn't it? It's a lot to take in that these fuckers have been sitting at your side for 20 years just waiting for the day when they can betray you and stab you in the fucking back. What well, horrible fucking people. Horrible. And it's like the spy writer, John Le Carre. Is that how you pronounce that? French, is it? But he's, I've said this before, but I'll say it again because it's them. That Kim Philby wasn't some Marxist, fantasist or intellectual. He was a deviant. That's why he betrayed people, fellow agents and sent them to their deaths. 
right? These people have no conscience. God knows why they do it, right? Maybe it's some big game with them. Maybe it's a financial thing. Maybe they owe the police favours. I don't know. It doesn't matter. What matters is what they're doing. But they will be following you, Mr Farage. You must take heed and listen to Joe Owens. But I'm sure you're, you're already doing that. Okay, thanks.